spiders. <gasps> did you know like that? I hope you did. I can kind of hear you, maybe. I thought that maybe I heard some of you taking that deep breath because Writer's Workshop is here and it is so exciting. And we have started our new books. We started to write our show and tell books. And the last time I got the chance to meet with you, we were talking about our special objects, right? You were able to be, bring in an object and we started to draw that object because I told you that writers look very carefully at their object and look at all the little details. And if you remember, I brought in my special object, which was my chameleon that I got from um, one of my students a long, long time ago. And that chameleon has been special to me and stayed in school with me because it is so special. Now, when we are writing our show and tells, we remember that we need to look and think about what we wanna add in our pictures and in our writing. And you saw that I added my chameleon with all the different pink and green and yellow colors. And I started to add words to my picture as well. I wrote pink eye because he had a pink eye and curly tail and wire legs. And I stretched those sounds so that I could add more to my drawing, more to my story. Now, today I am gonna to talk to you a little bit about what always happens to writers when we say, when you're done, you've just begun. And we ask writers to add more to their pictures and more to their words. Sometimes, there's this funny thing that happens and the scribble monster comes and scribbles and scribbles and scribbles and scribbles all over the paper. Not sure why that happens, but it always does. Whenever we say to add more, that scribble monster just wants to come out and he wants to scribble because he's adding more, but he's scribbling over all of the great things that he's already had. <gasps> Don't let the scribble monster take control of your writing. Don't do it. When you're doing your writing, there's a couple things that you can ask yourself so that you can add more to your writing. So maybe you're going to ask yourself, hmm, what does this chameleon do? Well, you'll be asking about your object. I'm asking about my object. What does this chameleon do? Well, let me tell you, my chameleon sits on my papers and holds my papers down so that they don't fly all over the place. So maybe if I'm adding to my writing, I might need to show how my chameleon sits on the paper. So perhaps I'm gonna switch sides just so that I can hold this a little bit better. So when I draw more on mine, I'm going to maybe put my papers underneath his feet because he's holding those papers down so that they don't fly away. I try to make it look like I have a bunch of papers here that are not going to fly away. He keeps all those papers nice and still. And those papers are usually on my desk. And that's the second question. Where is this wire chameleon? This wire chameleon is usually on my desk holding those papers down. So I'm gonna draw my desk in the background and there's a cup on my desk that holds all my writing utensils like my pencils. I have this very fluffy pencil on there and I have some pens and my scissors actually are in that cup as well. So I put my scissors there, that's on my desk. And I also have my pencil sharpener on my desk. Looks kind of like a clock, doesn't it? But that's my pencil sharpener. And maybe I could add some more things onto my picture that show where my chameleon is. 
and I can add k cup, k k up, cup, and pencil sharp sharpener, pencil sharpener. You can add those words and more to your pictures just by asking, what does your object do? And where is your object? My chameleon sits on my papers on my desk. And look at I've almost filled up this whole square just by asking those two questions, right? I didn't let that scribble monster get to my paper. You need to be careful not to let that scribble monster get to yours either, right? So when you go off to write today, I want you to make sure that you're adding to your pictures and you're adding to your words, but you're not letting that scribble monster in. No scribble monsters all over your paper. Think about your object. Remember, we look and we think. And then I want you to think about what does it do? And where is it usually? It might go to different places, but where do you usually keep your special object? And then draw that background, draw where you usually keep it and draw what it does and add those pictures and add those words. No scribbles. Think you can keep that scribble monster away? I think you can. I have faith. Off you go.